Chestnut roasting Black frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering the sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas What up you guys? So welcome back to another vlog. Today is December 3rd, officially the third day of Vlogmas. I'm excited. My video is real time life. You guys are gonna see exactly what I'm doing on December 3rd. You won't be seeing it today. You'll be seeing it tomorrow on December 4th, but this is real life time as of December 3rd. Um, you can see that I got my makeup somewhat done. I'm gonna be taking pictures for Instagram, but I have a special guest coming today to get her nails done. Um, so I don't wanna completely do my makeup because of the dust and I wear a mask. So I just do some of it and then I'll retouch it as I go on. But for you guys to know, it's about 12.15 right now. My house is a complete mess. Isaiah and I had a headache this morning. So we've been struggling with that all day. And my guest is here. My house is a mess. Um, I gotta put my dogs away, but let me show you who came to visit me. All right, you guys, this is my special guest. She came to visit again and get her nails done. Look how cute. Mm -hmm. Christmas, you know, but it's a little bit simple, but fabulous. First Christmas set of the year. Hopefully we'll get another set in before the end of Christmas. She usually wears them for a, a month. good <laughs> month. So maybe not, maybe next up will be New Year's. Yeah, 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 definitely New Year's. Huh? And then we got Miss Pretty over here. Miss Lula. Cry Baby. Hi, Lola. Hi, mamas. She comes to visit, yes, yes. <laughs> she knows we dog friendly. Mm -hmm. She loves, oh, what, what? She's like, mom, this has been a long day. <laughs> I know. It's okay. Oh, oh, she yeah. says hi. Yeah, okay, okay, that's it, that's it. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. There you go. All right, you guys, on to the next. Oh my God, you guys, so as I was walking Caitlin to the car, I went to go check my mail, and I found this in the mailbox, and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, Melania wrote a letter to Cynthia, and she spelled it, cor well, she somewhat spelled it correct. And Cynthia is a really good friend of ours. We consider her family. Um, but we met her because she used to babysit my kids while I worked. Well, because of Corona, we haven't been able to go see them or do anything. And my kids really, really love them. Her and her whole family, my kids are like obsessed with Cynthia and her family. They treat my kids like their own. And every day, if you guys watch my other vlogs, um, Amina's always like, I wanna go to Cynthia's, I wanna go to Cynthia's. And I feel bad because I think Amina's more attached to her than anybody because Amina was with her um, a lot longer and she was like the baby. Um, but Melania wrote her a little Christmas note <laughs> and it says Merry Christmas Cynthia. No, it's not Christmas, but still, but I still miss you. And then she drew her a little picture. Let me show you. Oh my God, look. So, Merry Christmas, Cynthia. No, it's not Christmas, but I still miss you. And then here's a little, like, picture. Melania, Merry Christmas. That's so cute. So Cynthia, if you're watching, you know they miss you. Here's your little note. Hi, right, you guys. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon. Sun is going down. This is my daily routine as of yesterday. 25 minutes on this bike. I don't know about y'all, but I have a hard time sleeping. And I was told exercise is key, so I'm about to jump on this thing. So on the bike, it'll tell me how many miles I'm doing, how long I've been on it, what my pulse is, and my heart rate, and all that good stuff. So I usually start off with it on one, 
for the first five minutes, then I'll put it on four for 10 minutes, and then I'll go back to one for five minutes to just cool down. Right now I'm just trying to live my best life. I'm in the sun, I got a little sunlight going on over here. I don't know about you guys, but I've, I have really bad anxiety. I don't know if you know this about me, and I overthink things a thousand percent. That's the type of anxiety I have. And I don't wanna take any pills, I don't wanna take any drugs, I don't want to um, take CBD oil, I don't wanna take melatonin. I just don't, I want my body to naturally do it by itself. So. I looked up how to naturally improve your melatonin or increase your melatonin. A lot of people on Instagram sent me really good suggestions as well because a lot of you guys have this issue and I didn't know that. Um, it does say at the age of 30 and on you will increase or your melatonin will decrease and a lot of people will suffer from insomnia at that point. And it's just because our bodies have a lot of different hormones going on. We're just doing a lot of other things that we don't do in our 30s that we used to do in our 20s. And one of them was a lack of exercise. So they said at the age of 30, you need to now improve your exercise intake. Being the fact that my husband and my son exercise well my husband used to exercise all the time we have a lot of exercise equipment and i was like i can definitely get on this bike for 25 minutes because it's not going to kill me somebody said to get a treadmill treadmills make me feel really dizzy when i get off of them for some reason i don't know why my sister said she has the same issue um so i've decided to get in the sun at least 10 minutes a day because they informed me that the sun will give you vitamin D and then when the sun goes down at night, it will take the vitamin D and turn it into melatonin. And also, exercising will get your body tired, obviously. Um, and they said pistachios, pistachios, nuts. If you take um, a couple of them every day at the same time, it will also increase your melatonin at night. So those are my remedies. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want updates. If you have the same problem I'm having, feel free to try this out and see if it works for you. So I'll be stuck on this bike for 25 minutes. What up everybody? I look like a hot mess, plus the lighting in my dining room is like the no bueno. The, the lighting is like horrible. But it is 5.30 and my husband's not home yet. Christian's not home. I need to run to the store to get dinner because we don't have anything tonight. Where are you at? I'm on home. How far are you? Okay, I love you. Love you too, bye. bye. Alright, so he's on his way home. I have to go to the store and get dinner. I don't even know what we're gonna eat. What do you guys want for dinner? What do you guys want me to cook for dinner? What do you want and I will make it? I do have Alfredo. Okay, so all I need to buy is shrimp then. I also wanted to let you guys know that I have been talking to a photographer. Hopefully I can get them to come um, sometime this week to take Christmas family photos. There's two type of photos I wanna take. I'm excited. Um, I wanna take one set of photos of us like all glammed out, like elegant glammed. And then I wanna take a set of photos of us just in our PJs. So I need to find out where I can go to get matching PJs for the family. I don't want to purchase them online. I actually want to purchase them in a store somewhere. So if you guys know where I can get matching PJs, don't tell me Walmart. Walmart doesn't have them. I've already looked. Um, please let me know. Comment below. I'm like desperate because I really want to get those done in the next um, week. And I need to do Christmas shopping soon as well. I did go on Amazon and put some stuff in my Amazon um, bucket for some of the stuff that was on that list. I gotta get with my sister and my mom and my dad and find out what they wanna 
help with the list. Christian's mom, Leslie Ryan, um, what they want to get off the list. Uh, Isaiah said he was going to pick some stuff off the list too. So, called me. Leslie was on this shit like last month. Leslie called me and was like, what does everybody want? And I was like, girl, it's too early. I don't even know. She was like, what does my brother want? And I was like, you find out and let me know because I don't even know what Christian wants. And that's another thing. I don't even know what I'm gonna get Christian or my dad. Christian and my dad are gonna be the hardest people to buy for. Um, and Leslie. Leslie's gonna be hard to buy for too because she's very simple, but I do know that she has a specific style. So, I don't know. You guys, this is gonna be hard. We'll see.